go. On moment, be dominant, take strong, get confident. Swarm song, we stomping it. World power, the prominent. Jazz styles in the nation, pride rising and facing. Population calm and enemy brainwashed, turn the station. It's the frantic, satanic panic for natural resources. We call the homes, burning fortress, chariots and they horses. Old men, behind mahogany desk, venom philosophies rest in the lives of sons and daughters in their properties. Uh, we gon' pop off, IED, you top off. Who's the next leader to get his fucking head chopped off? Huh? It makes all the sense in the world. To be the greatest Fuck them if they can't take a joke And the rest of the world hates us Driving a tank through the center of their ranks Crush, kill and destroy All their credits in their banks Doctrines of the fallen angel Captors Atrocities, hypocrisies of raging war We raging war disregarding God's laws Through all the lies of false prophets or the pure Legal genocide, a flag and an evil For golden oil in the lands of other people We raging war disregarding God's laws all the lies of false prophets are the pure Satan's on the rise, compromising your soul Put it assassins, burning forces around the globe It's Oh, well, uh, sorry there, human beings. I, I was just listening to a little tune while I read this disgusting headline. Clinton, Iran wants to be attacked. Now, first I'm going to take you back in time, and then I'm going to read from this Packler at Press Post, which I will link you to. I'll also link you to the tune I was just jamming out to because it's awesome. It's true. Anyway, around, I don't know, four years or so ago, I first got a computer and got online, and then I came to Twitter, and several months later, Iran was in distress, and there was a mass uh, help via social networking to help protect the people of Iran and Twitter was going to shut down for maintenance. President Obama asked uh, them to stay open because it was the only lines of communication for most of the people there. Now, less than four years later, we have Hillary Clinton saying that Iran wants to be attacked. Now, I'm going to go to the Post now. And let you, uh, I'll link you to it. You can read it for yourself, but for those who are too lazy to read, I will. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton discussed on Wednesday the top priorities of U.S. diplomacy around the world, saying that Iran wants to be attacked by somebody because it would unify the Iranian public and legitimize the Islamic regime. Now I'm going to stop you right there, you... I don't even know what the word is for your disgusting self, Hillary Clinton. But that mentality is the same mentality that a drunk husband uses just after he punches his wife in the eye and says she asked for it, okay? And, and for you sheep, yes, I said it. You sheep, let me remind you that you're paying for this. This will come out of, see, see because unless you spend all your resources and, and pay all your taxes so that we can tromp around the globe and kill everybody, unless you do that, you'll never be rich, by the way. You're broke. Anyway, back to the post. Good Lord. Uh, however, Clinton clarified in an interview with Charlie Rose, the former Secretary of State James Baker, that the U.S. is serious that they want, that they, Iran, cannot be allowed to have a nuclear weapon. Now listen, Hillary. If you want to tell anybody what to do, you do that with your children. You tell them, no, Johnny, you can't have a pocket knife because you might hurt yourself. That's the only fucking authority you have to tell anybody anything. And with a president that lies about radiation coming to our shores from Fukushima, you know what, the United States shouldn't have a fucking nuclear anything. Okay? Because you've proven, this administration has proven, that they're not safe with nuclear anything. Even when it's not on their homeland, they're not willing to protect their people and inform their people. So that's proof that we don't deserve to have a nuclear weapon, a nuclear fucking reactor, or a nuclear fucking anything. We've shown irresponsibility. Uh, oh, but we have the authority to tell Iran what? Oh, wait a minute, and let's review a little bit. What is it? Fifty foreign governments the United States has tried to overthrow? Hmm. And if Iran was thinking about attacking us with a nuclear bomb someday when they finally build it, well, you know what? We probably had it coming to us. What right do you have? How the hell does Hillary Clinton know what the people of Iran want? She doesn't live in their environment. 
She hasn't been brought up with their way of life. She, she's not there. I'm going to continue reading before I get too pissed off. Baker and Clinton spoke about the necessity of preventing Iran from developing a nuclear weapon, noting that the containment is not an option. In the opinion of Baker, any military strike on Iran's nuclear facility should come from the United States because it's the only country with the ability to stop Iran's program with force. <laughs> we will stop you by force. We're the only one that can do it. Bullshit. See, everybody else has decided that they have no business doing it. We're the only ones fucking dumb enough to allow it. Back to the post. Uh, we ought to try every possible avenue we can to see if we can get them to correct their desire and goal for acquiring a nuclear weapon, but we cannot let them acquire that weapon. We are on the only country in the world that can stop that, Baker said. The Israelis, in my opinion, do not have the capability of stopping it. They can delay it. There will also be many side effects, all of them adverse, from the Israeli strike. But at the end of the day, if we don't get it done the way the administration's working on it now, which I totally agree with, then we ought to take them out, he added. I, th those were not my words. I don't agree with anything this administration has done. Uh, other than give the black community a voice. And it's a shame that the first representative of the black community to run this country is a goddamn liar. And an illegal one at that. Anyway, back to the post. Clinton shared Baker's estimated timeline regarding a possible attack on a nuclear Iran, saying it would be a year or maybe more. So we're going to plan this out methodically. We're going to discuss it and debate it and make the people pay for it. And then when we finally get off our ass to do what we say we have to do anyway. That, that, what? What? Let, let me remind you of something. Good Lord. It's fucking ridiculous. I, I don't know what's going on here. Sheep. Uh, you name any country with the means anywhere near Iran that is an Arab country. If Iran has a nuclear weapon, I can absolutely bet on it and know I will win. They will be in the market within hours, and that is going to create a cascade of difficult challenges for us and for Israel and for all our friends and partners, Clinton, Clinton added. When asked about the Islamic Republic's true intentions, Clinton explained that during every meeting with Iran, the U.S. tries to probe and see what kind of commitments we can get out of them. Now at this point, we don't have them, so I can't speak to what they might be if they were ever to be presented. But that's why we have to take this meeting by meeting and pursue it as hard as we can. According to Clinton, there is a vigorous debate going on within the leadership decision-making group in Iran. While some uh, in Iran say an attack would unify the country and grant it legitimacy, there are those who say, look, these sanctions are really biting. We're not making the kind of economic progress we should be making. We don't give up. Uh, that much by saying we're not going to do a nuclear weapon and having a verifiable regime to demonstrate that. Meanwhile, UN leader Ban Ki-moon and Iran's President Mohammad Ahmadinejad discussed on Thursday the shutdown over Iran's disputed nuclear programs during the talks on the sidelines of the United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development. All right. Do you get it? Do you get it? It's both parties. Okay are in on this. They're just debating how it's going to be done. But both parties think it's okay to tromp around the fucking world and control and kill people. We, and you know what? You and I and everybody else is responsible for this shit. We voted them in. Whether they tricked us or not, be responsible. Okay? And, and as far as our country, whether you believe in God or not, okay, we were founded on a faith in God as we understood him and it's very clear that the God I know and most people know say that you cannot judge your brother before you have judged yourself so if the United States wants to control Iran and their nuclear or, or control anybody for any fucking reason let's feed all of our people let's take care of our vets let's get our homeless people warm and sheltered Let's, let's do a lot of things. I got a big fucking list that we should do. It's time that you start making a fucking list. Good Lord. Election 2012, huh? 
<laughs> and you wonder why I use Mario Savio's uh, speech. You know what? It's gone beyond that now. The machine is not odious. It was odious in 1964. It's become vile and disgusting now. <laughs>